Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that then certainly hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. So in today's video, I wanted to come back on and do a more detailed overview of this beautiful bag in front of you. I want to go ahead and go over just the details of the bag. Um, I will also insert a comparison here for you too, because I do feel like this bag is very similar in size to the small Marc Jacobs tote, as well as the Coach Road 25. And then I do also want to show y'all what this bag can hold because when I tell y'all this bag is the perfect everyday carry for me, I just love it. I love the size of this bag. So firstly, this is the Michael Kors Medium Maryland in this beautiful liqueur red color. And I just love this color, y'all. It is such a nice, vibrant red. Michael Kors did such a good job with this color. And I must say, like... In general, he just does a really good job with um, the colors of his bags. Like, they're all just so vibrant and just take color so well. Um, so, I did actually adorn this bag with this gorgeous charm here. This is actually my Coach denim charm, the butterfly denim charm. I got this a few years ago, y'all. And I added this charm because I thought that the blue went really nice with the red. And I love how, as you can see in the um, butterflies here... The brown here kind of matches up with the brown trimming on this bag. So, yes, I really just enjoyed this whole look. I am going to go ahead and remove this charm, though, so that it's not going to be a distraction. But later on, I will pop in a photo so that you all can see how all of my accessories tied together. Because it, it was such a look, y'all. Such a look. I must say, aside from me just carrying my bags, y'all, and enjoying the carries, I really, really love accessorizing my bags. Like, that just makes it so much more fun for me. So to go ahead and get into the details of this bag, y'all, this front part here is made of Safiano leather, and it is 100% genuine leather. I remember when I first started carrying Michael Kors, I wasn't a fan of his Safiano leather, y'all, but now I just love it. I really love the feel of this leather. It is really, really nice. The brown trimming, though, is more of like a smooth leather, and then you do also get the gold tone hardware, which I really like. There's your Michael Kors logo there. And here is a side view. And this is another thing I love so much about this bag, y'all. The color block. It is just really doing it for me. I love how he added the light cream color on the side. And then here is the back side. Oh, this bag is just everything, y'all. I really, really love it. Then here is the bottom of the bag. And I love that he added feet on this bag, too. It's so well made. Now, again, I am going to do a comparison so that you all can kind of get a feel of the size. But to go ahead and go over the measurements of this bag, the, the width of this bag is 11.25 in width. So across, it is 11.25 in width. It is 8.25 in height. And then it has a really nice size bottom, y'all. It is 5.5 inches in depth. So a really, really nice size bottom, which means that this bag really does hold a good amount of stuff. Now, this bag does come with these really nice handles, too. And I love the handles, y'all, because they do drop down, which is amazing. Like, this is a big plus for me. The handle drop is 4.5 inches in height. I love this size, y'all, because I am able to, of course, carry it as a top handle. But if I wanted to put this bag in the crook of my arm, I can even do that as well. I did actually recently carry this bag on a shopping trip. And I pretty much carried it in the crook of my arm. And it was just perfect. Like, it was such a great, great carry. So, I really love the handle drop here. Now, this bag does also come with a strap, too. And I do have the strap right here. It is a long shoulder strap. But you can also crossbody it too. And then here is the hardware. Very, very nice hardware. I really love MK's hardware. I haven't had any issues with my uh, bags tarnishing or anything. So yeah, I really love the hardware. 
it really does hold up well. I have not actually carried this bag at all with the strap, but if I wanted to, I could certainly um, put it on as a long shoulder or I can even crossbite it too and it'll work out just fine. The one thing I don't like though is how the straps actually hook onto the bag. So in order to hook on the straps, you do have to hook them on cross over like so and I really don't like bags that do that it's not a deal breaker for me but I just don't like it I rather my my straps be hooked on each side of the bag um horizontally but nonetheless you can certainly carry it that way if you choose to another thing that I love about this bag y'all is that it does come with these nice outside pockets here and I am actually using utilizing the pocket so I'll definitely show y'all what I have on the inside of it but it comes with two outside pockets and then it is a zip closure and I'm just going to give y'all a peek look at that like I have this bag packed really well and again I was able to fit all of my everyday items in here so it really made for an awesome carry but this bag does come with a zip pocket on the back side and then on the other side it just comes with a slip pocket so that's pretty much all of the organization that you get on the inside of the bag So let's go ahead and get into the measurements of the Maryland. Lengthwise, it is 11.25 in width. It is 8.25 in height. And the depth on this baby is 5.5. So it is a decent size bag. Here I have the Marc Jacobs Small Tote and it is 10 inches in length. It's eight inches in height. And the depth of this baby is five inches. And then here we have the Rogue 25. The length of it is 9.75. Height is 7.75. And the width on this baby is 5.5. So I feel that the Maryland is much more comparable to the small um, Marc Jacobs tote. As you all can see from the side here, the width of them are, they're, they're very close. Again, um, the Marc Jacobs is 5 inches in depth, and then the Michael Kors Maryland is 5.5 inches in depth. And you can better see the difference here. Of course, the Maryland is a tad bit longer. And then I'll try to line it up here so that you all can see too that the uh, Maryland is also a tad bit taller than the small Marc Jacobs tote. All right, so then here is the Rogue and the Maryland side by side. So the Maryland is overall bigger than the um, Rogue 25. But as y'all can see side by side, they are very similar in width. Again, the Maryland is 5.5 in width. And the Rogue is also 5.5 in width. So they're pretty much the same. Uh, they pretty much have the same depth in a sense. And then, of course, Maryland is going to be a little bit longer. And then I'll do the same for you all here. We're all lined it up and you can kind of gauge that the Rogue 25 is shorter also. Not by much, though. And these bags are more comparable when it comes to the style. So as you can see, they both do have that kind of exterior pockets on each side. And I really, really love that about these bags. So now I want to go ahead and get into what I have in this bag. Like I said, I did utilize both of the exterior pockets. So here in the first exterior pocket, y'all, I pretty much just put things that I would reach for a lot. So I do have my Touchland sanitizer in there. And I went for, for this slim profile because it's going to be easy just to slip into the bag. And it doesn't cause any indentation, as y'all can see. Like, there's no indentation on the bag. So that's what I had there. Another thing that I love too is that when I was shopping, I was able to just throw my phone down in the side if I wanted to be hands-free and I could reach for it quickly if I needed to. So that's another thing that I loved about love about this bag and the fact that it has these exterior pockets. Um, I do have a wet one in there, another wet one, and I believe that's all that I had in the uh, front pocket. 
But again, y'all, this pocket is such a nice, nice size. I just love it. Um, here on the outside, here on the other side, I did put like my notebook in there. Um, I was able to just throw like receipts down in there. And what else is in here? Oh, I also had a scrunchie in there. So that's everything that I had on the other outside pocket too. And again, you know, shopping this bag was perfect because as y'all can see, I just threw my receipts down here on this outer side. I didn't have to really open the inside of the bag to fumble around and throw things in there. So yeah, these outside pockets were just so great for me. I love it. All right, so getting into the inside, I'll give you all another glance. All right, so the first thing that I had in here is this little coach pouch right here. And this pouch, y'all, is a corner wristlet in the color Midnight Blue. I love this little thing, y'all. I have had this thing for years, and I've plopped it in so many bags. It just works for me. Um, but within here, I had my Trident Gum. I had my Tic Tacs, which I am almost done with. And then I had some Sore Throat Drops. Um... I actually had three of them. And then I also had some vitamin C drops. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm very congested right now. Um, I don't know if it's sinus or if it's just the weather changing. I have no idea, but I've been popping these sore throat drops in this vitamin C because I just want to feel better. <laughs> so that is everything that I had in this little thing here. And then the next thing that I had in the bag, y'all, is this little coin purse. I did reveal this when I showed y'all the bag, too. And so this coin purse, y'all, I am actually just using it to hold my coins. And I put my coins in here because I didn't want to put them in my wallet and have the wallet looking all super bulky and everything. So I just utilized this to hold my coins. And it does come with this wristlet here, too. So I can even, like, put, like, my cards in here. I could put, like, a... A wet one right here, put my keys on here, and run out of the house with just this little thing too, y'all. Like, I love these coin purses from Michael Kors. They are so, so good. And then the next thing that I have in here are my keys. So this is my Louis Vuitton Six Ring Key Holder. This is actually my favorite key holder, y'all. Point blank, period. <laughs> I love this key holder so much. I have had it for... When did I get this? I think I got this in 2020 or 2019. I've had it for some years, y'all, and I just love this little thing. So here I it is actually housing my keys. And then on the outside, and this is, by the way, why I like this thing, y'all, because I am able to put my whole key fob in there, and it doesn't, like, hang out or anything. I just love that. And then I just clip my pepper spray onto it too. So that is that. And then the next thing that I had in here was my iWalt charger. And this is my pink one. I wanted to use my silver one, y'all, but I need to charge it up. So as soon as I have that thing charged up, I'm going to switch them out. But I just threw the pink one in there for now because I have to have one of these when I'm out, y'all. I just have to. Um, cause I'm always like taking pictures and stuff and just using my phone. So the battery, yeah, <laughs> you guys get it. But this is how everything else is looking at a glance. And another thing that I love too, y'all, is that even though this bag kind of tapers up, like when you open it up, you're able to open it up wide and see all of your items. And I didn't have anything on top of uh, each other. Like everything had a spot in my bag. So that, yeah, I just love, love, love this bag so much, y'all. Um, so the next thing that I had in here is my toilet tissue. And then I am using this little Epsi pouch to hold pretty much like catch-all items. Um, and I love this thing, y'all. I felt like it went really nice with this bag, too. And again, I'll post, once I show y'all everything, I'll post how my accessories look with the bag. Because, yeah, everything just came out so cute. I really loved it. Um, but the first thing that I had in here is this hand cream right here. This is actually a new scent that Bath & Body Works came out with, y'all. It's called Tropidelic. And I love this stuff. So very nice. Um, very nice spring scent, in my opinion. 
Um, yeah, I really like this. Let me see something. It's very floral. So if you are someone that loves floral scents, I think you will really like this. It's very, very nice. Um, the scent notes on it, I'm not too sure what they are, but I'll post the scent notes on the screen for y'all. But yeah, if you love floral scents, I think you will really, really love this. It's very nice. I actually purchased this, and I also picked up the hand soap, too, in this as well. Okay, so then the next thing that I had in here is my lens cleanser or cleaner. I had my NYX Butter Gloss in here in the color Praline. I'm trying to give my little Ginger Snap on a wrist, y'all, and use my other ones. <laughs> y'all know Ginger Snap is my favorite, though. I just love it. <laughs> Um, so the next thing I have in here is my little ink pen. And then I have my brow shaper. My Ilia, my um Ilia eyeliner. My Ilia mascara. Oops. I have my kiss nail glue. And y'all, I have not had to use this nail glue yet. So I did show y'all too um these nails. Um my sister determined to be she actually custom did these nails for me. They are so nice, y'all. I have had them on for four days now and they're still going strong. I haven't had any to pop off or anything. So yeah, Michelle did such a good job with these nails, y'all. And I can't wait till she starts selling them because I'll definitely be purchasing them from her. Cause she did such a good job. I just love them. Love them, love them. All right, so the next thing that I have in here is my Tide to Go pen. I have my Juvia's Place um, eye lip liner. I have my Chanel mirror. My Benefit Cosmetic brow pencil. Oh, there, that's what that went to. This is the top to my brow shaper. And then this here, y'all, is a new scent to me. So this is Victoria's Secret's Heavenly Dream Angel. And this is so good, y'all. So I actually went into Victoria's Secret to um, return something. And I saw this scent and I just had to, like, give it a try, y'all. Tried it on that store, absolutely loved it. So I ended up picking up this. And I did also um, get more of the original Heavenly scent too because I really like that scent as well. Both of them have like a powdery scent to them. But this one right here, Dream Angel, it has a bit of a sweet kind of fruity smell to it. So yeah, I really loved it and glad I was able to pick that up. And then also too, y'all, I have my little Bobbi Brown lip gloss in here too. This is the Crush Oil Infused Gloss in the color New Romantic. And Bobbi Brown lip glosses, y'all, have become my fave to next to NYS. I really, really love this, this brand. So that's pretty much everything that I had in my little catch-all bag. And I want to show y'all something, too. After I finish showing you guys um, what all is in this bag and everything. I want to also show y'all this item that I picked up from Pink when I went to Victoria's Secret too because it is just the cutest and I just have to share it. I just have to share it. <laughs> all right, so the next thing that I had in here is my Louis Vuitton pocket agenda and this agenda is holding my checkbook. And then I have my Michael Kors Envelope Emboss Wallet. Love this wallet so much, y'all. I know my sister, DJ King, she has been raving about her wallet, too. And I'm so glad she's enjoying hers as well. This wallet, y'all, is just so, so good. Like, if you ever get a chance to go into store and see one, I hope that you're able to just get your hands on it and see why we love this wallet so much. It is just so, so good. So this one is actually in the color Light Cream. And I love it because it does come with this back slip pocket. I don't have anything in it, but typically, like, I'll throw, like, receipts in here as well. And then on the inside, let's see. I think I have 
Let me take my cards out and I can show y'all the inside of it too. Because it is a really nice size wallet too. So this is how the inside of this wallet look, y'all. So I love it because it does come with this back slip pocket, right? So you get the back slip pocket. You get six card slots on this side. And then you get a little gusset here where you can put things. I have like um, coupons here on this side and I also place some cash here. And then you have a middle zip compartment, which in the middle zip compartment, I do have like important cards, like um, health insurance cards and things. And then on the other side, I have more coupons there, but it does have another gusset there. And then it comes with six more card slots here. So the organization is plenty in this wallet, y'all. I really, really love it. And yeah, I will probably pick up more. If there's any other colors that come out, I'll probably pick them up. But I love this wallet, y'all, because it went really well with this bag when it came to like the side color. It's like the shade off, but I feel like it complements it very, very well. Y'all can see that. Uh, there we go. Oops. Let's pick you on back up bag. <laughs> All right, so then that's everything that I had in the main compartment, y'all. And then in the zip pocket, it's pretty much what I kept like medicine and stuff. So I did have this little thing here, which is holding my ibuprofen and my allergy medicine, which has really been coming in handy lately. I have a toilet seat cover. I have some little floss picks. And then I just have like um, more like medicine and stuff down in there. Um, I did also put the care instructions in there. And then here is the tag to the bag. So I'll uh, show y'all that in case you're interested. This bag is still available at the time of me recording this video. It is on sale for $149, which I feel is a very, very good deal. I think even the retail price, though, at $298 is a really good deal for this bag. And the fact that it's a retail bag, too, real leather, like you just cannot beat that. And then on the other side, I just put my clinics in there. So that's everything that I pretty much had in the bag. I really love this bag too, y'all, because of how he did like the trimming up here. I think that white trimming is just so, so nice. Very, very nice. And I believe that the lining of this bag is 100% polyester. So yeah, y'all, that is pretty much everything that I had in my bag. Again, I'll go ahead and pop in a photo so that you all can see how all of my accessories just came together. Oh, I just love it. Everything just blended in so, so nicely. Now, y'all, I really do want to get another um, Maryland. I know that this was my first pick, so that's why I grabbed this bag. But I do really like that blue one, too. So I might end up grabbing that. I'm not too sure. But as of right now, I am really just enjoying this bag, y'all, and loving on it. Okay, so we're going to move this bag back. Because like I said, I wanted to show y'all this little item that I picked up from Pink when I went into the store. So y'all, this little bag is just the cutest, the cutest. I wasn't even checking for this bag, y'all. I went to go and return something because I had to order it in another size. And when I saw this bag, I was like, ooh, it's gonna go great with those shoes. And it, it looks so well made. So <laughs> the item, y'all, that I am talking about is this cute little bum bag right here. This bag is just so good, y'all. So it does say pink right there. And it feels so good, y'all. It does look to be well made. I didn't see any kind of loose threading or anything on this bag. But yeah, I just had to pick this up. I did actually grab the slides. I had to end up reordering them in a smaller size. But I did grab the slides too to match this bag. And the color of this is called Wanna Be Pink. I'll leave a link below if it is still available on the website. It does retail for $19.95, but I actually did grab this bag just for $11, y'all. Um, and I just love how this bag looks on my frame. It does have this really nice web strap here. Very, very nice. It isn't detachable or anything. And then it does come with this back pocket right here as well, which this back pocket, y'all, is really nice. I'm actually even able to fit my phone in the back, and I have a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, and it fits in the back nicely. And then another thing that really sold me on this bag, y'all, was the organization of the inside. 
So here is the inside of the bag and it comes with a slip pocket on one side. And then on the other side, it comes with two little mesh slip pockets. Like how awesome is that? And you just cannot beat it for $19. $19.95 regular price, but on sale for $11. Oh, I just love this. And let me see what this tag says. Uh, let's see if it tells me about the fabric. So it is actually 100% recycled polyester. So 100% polyester. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all this little item because I just thought it was just so, so cute. And I think it'll make for a great like grab and go item. There are other colors too available, y'all. And I might go back and get the other colors because again, like you just cannot beat that for the price. And I feel like this bag would make such a great grab and go bag. All right, y'all. So that is that. That concludes this video. I do hope that you all enjoyed it. If you have any additional questions for me about this bag, then definitely leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then certainly give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.